test run. Good evening. My name is Alexander Hagen. <clears throat> Normally, I like to compose my material very carefully, but events are changing quickly. So I believe we have to speak to the issue immediately. In my view, Ron Paul's decision to announce that he was suspending his financial expenditures in primary states is a uh, the, either the first mistake he's made or it's something uh, that he has not made public what his motivations are because he doesn't have to advertise that because the media of course will go out and say that he has suspended his campaign because the media uh, views things in a very limited way. I was very uh, surprised by Judy Woodruff's interview with Ron Paul, how completely ignorant she seemed to be of uh, his movement. It was just shocking. And since I'm part Woodruff, it was also embarrassing. Um, although not necessarily related to her clan. Um, so at any rate, we need to basically look at the strategy as infiltrating the Republican Party and then uh, supporting libertarianism. Uh, because that's our only candidate left if we have only Romney and Obama to choose from. Obama has a poor human rights record, according to the ACLU. Uh, uh, he uh, voted for the Patriot Act. He allowed a, uh, the complete and total removal of our rights with the NDAA, uh, the latest National Defense Authorization Act, which he did sign for indefinite detention without trial of American citizens on suspicions of association, which is just shocking. He invaded Libya, which uh, was not for humanitarian reasons. Once it got rolling, it might have initially had a new, uh, uh, humanitarian element, but there are far more people dying and getting bombed in Libya now. Far, it was uh, Gaddafi was supposedly hell on wheels with, against Al Qaeda because he was a socialist and he had uh, essentially surrendered his arms to the West. So it's a much more nuanced situation people think and a lot of people were killed in Libya much more than people think because there's no Libya body count. Um, he's now allowing the same thing to happen to Syria. You see Syria isn't allowed to survive. Wouldn't matter if the president introduced elections tomorrow because uh, this country is being destabilized. They caught weapons coming in from Libya uh, to Syria via Lebanon uh, that were from Qatari warehouses in Benghazi. The Qataris claim they had hundreds of men all over the country on the ground, which is a gross violation of UN 1973, which allowed no troops on the ground. And there is no talk about this at all. It's the most egregious violation in terms of being in your face because they freely boast of it. Um, and uh, Al-Qaeda has formed in Syria. This is all deliberate. What you do is you essentially surround the country with uh, pressure and then uh, infiltrate in. Uh, and because the people that can do the heavy lifting are the Arab uh, Islamists, uh, Islamists uh, the people that are jihadis uh, in the violent sense of the word. So um, his foreign policy has been pretty atrocious. He was given the Nobel Prize for Peace and has escalated. According to Noam Chomsky, he's worse than Bush because Bush tortured. Obama just kills. Uh, he kills the people. Uh, that way we don't have to worry about torture. As far as Romney goes, Romney in his synopsis speeches never discusses uh, education. I heard him say, somebody said, it was. they say you and Obama are hard to distinguish. He says, I would take the country in a far different direction far, far different, but he doesn't elaborate. And uh, so it'll be fun to analyze the differences between Romney and Obama. On the issue of the military industrial complex, Romney wants to el escalate it, and it's eating our country alive. I estimate for every life we save in the war on terror, it costs $200 million in excessive military security expenditures, which would be enough to send, you know, 200,000, 20,000 kids to college? No, much, much more than that. For each one, no, $200,000, uh, oh, $200 million, that would be like, uh, th yeah, it would be like 4,000, 8,000 college students per 
uh, life saved, and there may be no life saved because of our antagonistic way of prosecuting this. We have half the world's armaments expenditures, we're 5% of the population. Our allies altogether, it ends up being about 85% when you count NATO and CETO. And Romney wants to boost ex uh, military expenditures. We're just on uh, excessive military spending. Most of our national debt comes from excessive military spending. When you look at our country in comparison to other countries, like even China, Germany, Britain, our country is way out of line in military spending. I estimate it costs uh, about 2.1 trillion, the whole military industrial correctional complex, which is one in every seven dollars of our economy. And then we have another 20% of our economy going to medical care. So we're talking about um, altogether almost uh, five fourteenths of our economy two and a half sevenths, two fifths, forty percent of our economy, thirty six percent of the economy is just for a bloated insurance and hospital profit driven and pharma profit driven industry. Uh, so Romney doesn't want to drain the swamp at all. He is totally the old boys network. He's worth probably a billion dollars. It's just unbelievable that regular rank and file people want to vote for this man. Uh, he may be a nice guy and intelligent, but his policies are horrible. Obama's policies are horrible. Neither of them talk about uh, the fact that our country's entire Bill of Rights disappeared after the uh, Patriot Act uh, was passed. <clears throat> and Ron Paul, listen to his speeches if you haven't yet. I recorded a speech at UC Davis. Um, and he will solve all these things. He's going to bring the troops home, uh, maybe in phases, but he's going to drastically drain the military industrial swamp. Uh, and adopt a peaceful uh, posture towards other countries. Uh, and uh, so we have to look at our third party run. That is what we've been spoiling for the whole time uh, because we knew that Ron Paul couldn't win the presidency in the Republican primary. This delegate tactic raised our hopes, but the political fallout of winning the nomination through delegates instead of the recorded beauty contest votes uh, would be disastrous probably although probably better than running as a libertarian. And what we need is we need a, a candidate who to team with him that really appeals to uh, progressives. Because if you would stack him with another conservative, um, we aren't going to be able to pull as many votes off of Obama. Now this is maybe a tough thing to pull. Um, we need to get some kind of communication. And the way we do that is the Occupy Movement and the Tea Party. The question is whether Ron Paul could even run as vice president to Gary Johnson. Clearly he wouldn't or uh, no. Uh, and Gary Johnson, I doubt, would drop out. He would drop out of the race if Ron Paul ran third party, I'm sure. And I suppose they could have Ron Paul be vice president. But again, usually you want to pair dynamics. So I would say Nader or Kucinich. All right, let's go out there and work to get our rights restored and stop being the number one killer and prisoning country in the world and go back to what we were, the land of the free and the home of the brave. Brave means we don't trade our secure our liberty for security. Benjamin Franklin said those who do will get neither. Thank you.